Hi, this is video 108, where we are, we'll be doing the second part of using the job editor. In the job editor, in the previous videos, we showed like how we can work with colors, how we can act the principle of active layers and non-active layers, active layers with selections, no selections. Um, but we've been activating them by clicking on the boxes over here, which on a four layer board is not too bad. But uh, if we have like a big multi-layer job with tons of drill files, um, then clicking on each one of those would be a little tedious. So let's introduce the activate shortcuts. Over here is the activate. If I want to do something on all of the layers at the same time, I can very easily do set all. That will activate all of the layers. Uh, they're the equivalent to deactivate them is clear all. I have I can go straight to the activating all of the copper layers, which we learned in an earlier video that we we talk about them as layer set layer over here. This is automatically doing all four copper layers. There's also a clear layer as well. We can do set drill, activate all the drill files, clear drill. Of course, I could also do clear all. But let's do it one at a time, clear drill. The third subclass that we, the uh, uh, classes that we talked about was the extra. So all I can do all of the extras in one go. So now I have both of my masks and as well as my silk, just with one click. And again, I can do clear extra. I can dive into things even more specific by going and say, under set subclass, I can say, oh, from the entire job, activate me all the ones that have the subclass mask. So with one click, I have both masks. And let's do a clear all. So the entire list of layer subclasses, drill subclasses, and extra drill classes is represented over here. Some of them we have not seen before. It, uh, like, let's say we do set subclass. Let's assume for a moment that we have a number of drill files. Some of them are blind, some of them are, are buried. But I just want to have the straight plated one, then I would click on plated. So that is how activate set all and clear all works. We can also say, okay, I just worked on the drill file, the drill layer over here, and now I want to work on everything else. Rather than doing a clear all, going back into the menu and then doing a, a set layer or set layer and then an extra set extra, I can just do toggle. and those then toggle the activations. Good. Using that principle is in a previous video, we are looked at how we can display all the layers. Um, also how we can do selections on all the layers. So I'm going to do a selection out like this. And doing a delete using my keyboard shortcut, hitting the delete key to clean up everything outside of the area over here, the targets and text that I don't care about. You could do a hide all and go back like that. One of the things that you typically also do is you create a route or an outline to start out with. So for to do that, you would need to add a layer. So we can, if we have an existing one, we can pick one up from a folder. Let's say that I want to, for the training, I want to look at a previous version of the uh, top layer component in this case. So now I have my original from a different folder that still has the outsides as well as the current one. And when we are adding in the layer that already exists, 
we automatically, the system will automatically add a underscore one, two, three, whatever is required. So let's take this one back out. So for deleting, I can just click layers delete. And it will ask for confirmation and the layer gets deleted. If I have multiple layers that I want to delete, I can activate them and say layers multi-delete. And I actually get the option, do I want to delete the active layers or do I want to activate the delete the non-active layers? So let's say that I want to take all of my coppers over here. Then I would say active. And let's say that now I want to only work with the silk. I could actually toggle that like this. Let's use all of the methods that we just learned about. And now I want to um, delete the masks. So I would say non-active. Just, of course, these are just examples. Let's do our F5 to bring our layers back. We sometimes also need to create a layer. And the way that works is you go to layers create. You click anywhere if you want it. If you're going to create a copper layer, you would click in between two copper layers. It will assign it to the layer class. If we would create a drill file, you can actually drag it from where to where you want it. Like from one to two, two to three, three to four or just four in this case. Um, so you can do that. So let's take these out again, multi-delete now. And if you wanna create an extra, you just create in the extra area over here. And let's say that we want to modify this one and we're gonna call this the outline like that. Then you assign the type as we have done in previous videos. And then of course, in a later video, we will show how we're actually gonna put contact on that layer. That concludes the additional, that's the part two of the job editor.